let's come back and see one more question on your uh, general trends of your noble gas elements so i'm gradually going into the concept i felt uh, giving you in the form of question would be easy to you learn if instead of me teaching in the paragraph so let's see what did he give us why do noble gases have low boiling point and why so we have already studied among the noble gases helium is the only element which has minimum boiling point now they're asking us what is the reason first important when i see the formulas for noble gas helium isn't it monoatomic neon monoatomic argon monoatomic so when i go down so he first of all the noble gases are monoatomic in nature they don't exist as diatomic like your halogens chloride bromide or chlorine bromine iodide so all are mono single atoms done when they are monoatomic are there any forces of attraction existing between them no isn't it so what is absent no inter atomic forces of attraction okay this is also done i accept it and what else you should remember when there are no forces of attraction between them what will be the uh, like about uh, what about the dispersion process the dispersion forces of the van der waals forces also will be weak so they have they have weak dispersion forces or the weak forces of attraction done when the forces are weak between them can they be liquefied at room temperature yes hence can be liquefied i can convert it into liquefied at room temperature okay this is also done now coming back to the question <clears throat> with all these factors it existing is monoatomic so no attraction no dispersion forces so i can easily liquefy them because there are no bonds attached so come back to the question now why do noble gases have low boiling point why simple these are the reasons when i say i can liquefy them at the room temperature i can all simply say hence low bp done this is your answer so let's come back and answer the next question they give they have given us this question okay i thought this is a part of your xenon compound so let's see what inspired <coughs> n barlett for carrying reaction between xenon and ptf6 okay now basically barlett was a for person to first discover the reaction of the, this of xenon with the ptf6 so what did he do ba uh, barlett he has picked up an element that is oxygen this is his first experiment first experiment which was conducted by uh, in the you know, inert elements first when he picked up oxygen and he added ptf6 then he got a complex like this so oxygen plus and a ptf6 minus this is a complex which he has got now he further carried experiments then when he started carrying experiments now with ptf6 okay oxygen done so when he started with the inert gas elements first he started with okay helium neon argon krypton xenon when he came to xenon he observed that the xenon uh, the ionization enthalpy or the ionization energy and oxygen ionization energy were almost similar how much was that it was 1175 kilojoules per mole the ionization energy and for oxygen it is almost 1170 kilojoules per mole so both were equal then he thought okay when both are equal he can easily perform the reaction between xenon as well as ptf6 so he started performing his experiments instead of oxygen he picked up xenon plus ptf6 he got a complex called <coughs> xenon plus and ptf6 minus a colored complex a red colored com complex is formed by this so what made him do perform the reaction this is the reason because the ionization enthalpy values are matching he tried to pick up xenon instead of oxygen to form a complex and forming a new complex because basically inert gases are they don't react but because of this ionization energy concept he could make a new compound with inert gas elements